Sherdog.com here with the new bantamweight champ, uh, Joe Warren, following his winner for Rafael Silva tonight, the main event at Bellator 118. And Joe, first question, you find out it's Rafael Silva a couple days beforehand yep. instead of Eduardo Dantes, you think what? I think, who is this guy? You know, I have no idea who he is. I know he's a completely different fighter than what we've been training for. But, uh, you know, we came to fight, man. We came to get this belt. So whatever was going to be in our way, we we're going to go through it. Um, it was just a little tougher than what I expected. Stylistically, between Dantes and Silva here, what was the biggest difference between the two, you think? I believe uh, his wrestling was a, a little bit superior to what Dantes would be. Uh, I believe... Um, He's just a bigger body, you know. I believe his red. He did a great job wrestling. Caught me with some tough uppercuts. Um, you know, I had to stay really focused to, to fight through that. And it was a five-round war, and uh, I didn't want to have to do the ground grind out war, but I got it done, man. I was hoping for finishes, but uh, we have the belt right now, and we're happy. Let's delve into that a little bit okay. further because you obviously do have the wrestling background and the wrestling mm -hmm. background that's second to very few in MMA. How often do you find yourself kind of twirling between, I don't really want to use the wrestling, but if I have to, I have to, because it is one of the things that you do well. Yes, I, I believe that I really, this fight, I wanted to use my hands, and um, and I had to rely on my wrestling to get the, get the win, you know, and that that's, I'm just lucky that I have that pedigree to be able to uh, fall back on it, you know. Um, I believe my hands were starting to come, but um, they weren't where I wanted them to be. Um, I believe they are where they wanted to be, it's just... You never know in that cage, you know, but I believe my wrestling pulled it out and uh, wrestling got me this belt again and uh, and a smile on my face. In terms of the fight itself, you go round two, round three, round four, it seems like there was a very discernible change in your game plan between rounds, specifically three and four, where you went from, all right, I'm engaging with him a little bit more to now, all right, let's stop messing around, I'm going to take him down, take him down, and take him down again. Yep. Was, was that something from the corner? Was that something you were thinking about? Talk to me about that. Uh, I, got, I, got, I got hit uh, second maybe round with a hard uppercut. You can see, you can see my eye, you know, um, and it dazed me. And um, I had to stay, I was in such good shape that I was able to stay focused and um, rely on my wrestling. I knew that if I stayed on my feet and my hands weren't working at that time, that there could be a problem. So I needed to rely on my wrestling, and that was able to pull me through this fight. And uh, I'm happy about it. You look at the rest of the division now. You spoke to this a bit at the post-fight press conference itself. The two big fights that were sort of hinted at there are obviously now the match the, that was originally supposed to take place against Dantes and potentially a, a fight against Galvao. Let's tackle the one against Dantes first. It was the one that you were preparing for anyway. What are maybe some of the things that you're going to focus on now heading into it? as you prepare for eventually to fight, to take on Dantes whenever he ends yes, up Yes, we, we've been training for the last 14 weeks to, to fight Dantes. A uh, whole different fighter. Longer, taller, a little bit weaker. Uh, not the pedigree of wrestling that uh, Silva had. Um, so that was completely different. I had no idea who I was fighting in that cage. Never saw a tape on him. Never never saw anything on him. So it was uh, it was kind of like a barn murder to throw two guys in there that doesn't know each other and fight. So it was uh, it was a tough fight. I mean, my hat my hat's off to him. He's uh, he's a tough fighter. Now Dantes is extremely tough. Also, you know, there's not like there's not a tough guy there. Galvo, we all, we put a war together, me and him. Um, so whatever fight's coming next, the fans are going to be very excited about. Uh, I know they're going to have the, you know, it's going to be the best uh, best man that I'm going to fight, the best Galvo or the best uh, Dantes that there is, and uh, there'll be the best Warren out there also. What does it mean to you, and this is something Bjorn brought up during the presser, and this is something you had mentioned as well, what does it mean to you to be the first guy in belts or to be held, holding two different belts, to have held two different belts? Oh man, it's uh, it's an honor. You know, um, I, I just thank Bellator and Viacom for giving me the opportunity to be able to put this belt on my waist right now. Um, I could have easily, after the um, Kern loss, uh, when I lost my featherweight belt, I could have easily thrown in the towel, towel and retired. Instead, I put a new focus in my mind. Uh, Mark Montoya and Factory X, the guys there, I can't thank you enough. Um, got me ready for this you know we've been pushing for the last two years winning fights to try to get to this opportunity to get the undisputed belt now I have the interim belt uh, and now I have to fight again but uh, the bottom line uh, it's satisfying and finally what is the biggest difference you think between that fighter uh, Warren that you who lost to Curran versus the one now who's now holding the belt after a win against Silver tonight 
what's the difference? You know, not much. You know, the same heart, same guy. Uh, just uh, I didn't lose my belt this time.